You ready? What? Let's do it. Yellow pine. Attempt number what? Trailhead. This is attempt three to get up to Yellow Pine Lake. Granted, the first two attempts had lots of snow in the early spring. But now we're in the late fall. Snow's gone, but we got new snow. It landed on the mountain this morning, but probably shouldn't be bothering us today. So I guess I should have said early fall. Summer just ended. So we're September 21st, 2019. Uh, we're just going on a day hike. It's 3 p.m. Getting a late start. We got stuck in traffic with the wreck in the canyon. Motorcycle versus van. Anyway, looks like it's about four and a half miles to the lake. Should be able to get to the lake. Do a little fishing. Take some good scenery pictures and head on back and be home by dinner. So we came up here early in January and February and did a bunch of snowshoeing up this trail but never made it more than about, I don't know, a mile or so. Hiking in deep snow and snowshoes is harder than hiking with oh, yes. no backpack <laughs> on a dry trail. So mm -hmm. you should be able to go a lot further this time. A lot easier. And for a Saturday it doesn't seem to be too busy because there's only three cars at the parking lot besides ours. And there's a horse trailer there with some horses, but couldn't tell if they were loading up to leave or loading up to start a ride, but that's it. So let's see who we'll see if anybody's on this trail. Well, I'm just looking at all trails and calculating out the average rise per mile. Looks like we're close to six hundred foot elevation gain per mile and based on the on the profile of the trail yeah. it looks like it's steady there's no ups and downs it's just a steady climb all the way so the ironic part of that is, is this one appears to be twice as steep as the brown duck hike last weekend that's crazy. I just don't remember it being this steep and steady all the way. Oh well. We're not packing the backpack, so it doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, it looks like the squirrels have been knocking pine cones out of the tree. Those are green ones. There's a couple there and a couple there. And big old ponderosa pines. These are interesting looking little somethings. Flowers or fruit or whatever that is. Couple of these little plants. I wonder what those are. Yeah, it looks like that stream is just a mere trickle now from the raging waters of the spring runoff earlier this year. Holy cow. Yeah, this is all flooded and swollen. Now it's just a little trickle. Well, looks like we got some rose hips. Here, these puppies are ready for the eating. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, a good little trail snack. 
All right, so here's another rose hip. So if you pick it, and if you bust off the flower, and then you can bite it open, and you got the seeds there you spit out because they're super hard like chewing on rocks. But that fleshy outer edge, you can actually eat that. It's pretty good. Anyway. That's a pretty steep and steady section of trail. It's not just that. We already came up that already. Got more of it. So there's another kind of berry I'm not familiar with. It's got this really big leaf, big big leaf plant. I don't know if that's a flower or a berry or what, but looks like there's some others there. Huh. Old dope, as Homer would say. That wasn't there the last time I was up here. Looks like that tree came down and crushed the bridge and blocked the trail. That is crazy. And it just looks like that tree was all rotted, rotted out right there and just finally gave way in the wind. Huh. Well, that's kind of, the bridge is pretty strong though. It looks like the bridge held up. It was just the railing. Hmm. Yeah, Christy heard some cow, some branches breaking and Right in there, right there, it's a cow. Some more berries. Don't know what those are. Pretty. Could be pretty edible and could be pretty sickening. Don't know. Yeah, we just stumbled across a couple of grouse at our feet and they fluffed up and flew away and got our attention. We weren't expecting that. Kind of startles you when you're not paying attention. Cool to see the wildlife though. So. Hi. Look at this. Some kind of a cave or something right there. Hope nothing jumps out at me. That would really suck. Huh. That's pretty cool. Looks like we got a little deer in here. Oh, they're all going the other way. Oh, there they go. There are like six of them. Still coming. Yeah, there they go. They're going right up to where we're going. <coughs> cool. They must have fallen out of the tree. A bunch of yellow jackets.
That's crazy how things change. So in the spring runoff, this area right here was, you know, from where I'm standing right here, all the way to those rocks over there, was just a raging river down through all of that. It's crazy. Now it's just a trickle. How about that for a hill? Jeez. Yeah, that's pretty steep. I'm holding the phone level. See, so that's a good 45 degree grade right there. That's steep. Yeah, and right here, where these little rocky outcropping is, and this little remnants of a stream that fed that raging river down in that meadow. <clears throat> Yeah, last May, this was an impressive waterfall right here. I'll see if I can't find the photo and attach it to this video. It's just crazy to see the differences. But man, this is a steep bugger. All right, made it to the cutoff to Castle Lake last May when we were up here. 11 miles? 1.1. One. Oh. This was completely under snow, all the way. Unless they just barely put it in. Looks kind of newish, mm -hmm. but we didn't see this sign. Someone anyway. Plugged in 1.4 maybe. Oh yeah, somebody, like at, somebody no, it's not 1 .1. defaced the sign. Suckers. Yeah, yeah this, uh, this trail weather is amazing. It's like 60 degrees and you can kind of see your breath when you're in the shadow. Oh, yeah, I can see Christy's breath. Yeah, let me flip around and see if we can see it. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we see it. Easily entertained we are. Taking videos of our breath. Exactly it's like a grouse. Looks exactly like a chicken. Looks like a chicken. Like a big. Oh, would you look here there? We got the question mark tree. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, look right, how. Right Look how dark that one is. Well, according to Garmin, we're 0.2 miles beyond the lake, but we haven't found the lake yet. So it must be right here. We gotta be close. Because it looks like it's flattening out. And Big question of the day, is there really a lake or is there not? There's snow nice. from last night's storm that blew through. <laughs> no lake yet. All right, well, we found the frog pond just prior to the lake. So we gotta be super close. 
because the map shows this just down the hill into the south of the main lake. So that's a pretty little lake. It's little, but it's pretty. All right, after a very, very steep scurry from that last little pond up, straight up, we finally made it to the lake. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. Looks like we had some snow left over from yesterday. All right, come on, Lake. We worked hard to get here. Let's give us a view. It'd be really nice if the sun had come out for about 15 minutes. While we take a minute to fish this little lake. Oh, are you kidding? That's all the bigger it is. Oh man, I was thinking it was a lot bigger. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a letdown that it's smaller than I thought. But, I don't know. Still pretty cool. Up against those cliffs. Hell yeah. Yo, buddy. And pretty sure this is it. What do you think? Totally not worth it. What? Come on. The view is awesome. That's a steep sucker to get to here. Well, I sure hope there's a fish in there because that sure would make it worth it for me. Wow. It, it is pretty though, for sure. Mm. Well, I suppose there are fish for sure in this lake. Maybe. I just saw three of them, caught one of them. No, it's not bad. Decent. It's pretty decent. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, I got, got another one. Yeah, gotta love it. And another one, yay! Oh, he just got off, cool. And yet another. Boy, this is one right after another lake. This is awesome. They sure do flop around a lot. All right, that was amazing. Caught uh, several fish in a short amount of time. Pretty cool. Man, I'll tell you what though. Uh, get the hooks out of those fish for that just a few short minutes. Man, my fingers are freaking freezing, freaking cold. They hurt. Anyway, cool, I'm glad we made the trip. I see sunshine over there. I'm gonna head for it. Try to warm my hands up. Christy's already head down the trail. She's like, I'm out of here. So I'll catch up to her. But cool. Fun little hike. Make sure you bring a fishing pole, because it was fun. I'm gonna venture a guess that there's fish in that little pond too, but uh my hands are too cold. And it's Going to be getting dark soon, so we're getting out of here. All right, last resort for me. Got to do what you got to do to keep your hands warm. God, get them in a warm spot. It's so cold. It's so cold. Oh, do what you got to do, PG version. You got to put your hands in warm places. Try the armpits. Ah, 
Ah, silly me. I forgot about a quick way to get your hands warm. Friction. I just rubbed them together really fast for a little bit. Heck yeah. My fingers are back to life. The sun has given us some love. The trail's amazing. It's all downhill from here. It's great. Well, that view is pretty amazing. And those clouds. Look at that. Oh, baby. I'm wondering if this is just a different variety of raspberry or what. Because they come off just like a raspberry, but what's what's got me cautious is that they... Uh, have these really big leaves and they don't have they don't have the uh, thorns on the stem so I don't know what they are for sure huh come on boys it's getting cold I don't know if I can move any faster. Man, it's really cold, man. So cold, help me out. Yeah, here's one of our long downhills. I know most, the whole trail was all downhill coming back, but this one is, just keeps going down, 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 down. Huh. made it like the last mile in the dark it's 30 now but we're back to the truck turn the heater on go get some hot cocoa and head home Sweet.